Wait, so, 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 Je so Jesus, Jesus, is this your brother? Oh, sorry, sorry. No, no, sorry. Uh, Jesus, okay, we believe is a prophet. That yeah. Prophet, yeah. That's high. But do you believe everything Jesus said about himself? Sorry. Do you believe what Jesus said about himself? Yeah, but the thing is, here's what I will say. Look, what's your what's your name again, sister? Leo. 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 Yeah. Okay. Look, I believe we say, and not just us, biblical scholars as well. They say, look, the the four gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and all of the books of the New Testament. There, we don't know who wrote them. You know, sometimes we know like with the 13 books of Paul and so on, there's dispute about it. But the four books, Matthew, Mark, Luke, who are these people? We don't know. Yeah, but, but let me explain. We don't have, we, no, no, it's not that we don't believe that. Biblical scholars don't believe that. Them. Yeah, but I understand. Yeah. Yeah. So how do you know? How do you know that you know if, if you read the Bible, right? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. How do you know what you're reading when Jesus speaks about Himself is actually from Jesus? So, yeah, okay. But, so now, yeah. my point is that, uh, Muhammad Hijab, is that Sorry. even for us to believe is that Jesus was mentioned in the Old Testament. Before he was born 500 years ago, they were mentioned to him, the child okay. would be born as a Nine, yeah, fine. I think that helps me that this, before Jesus comes, all this prophesied happens. Right. So we saw this I've got another question then. Okay, so you're saying that how do I know that the New Testament is from Jesus? Is you're saying the Old Testament says it. How do you know that the Old Testament yeah, is from the first five books are from Moses, the rest of the books are from the prophets? How do you know that that book, yeah? goes back to the source, wherever the source is meant to be. So in the case of the five, first five books, that those first five books actually go back to Moses. The reason why I ask you this question is this, is because in Islam, when we read the Quran, or when we have a hadith, yeah, we say that, look, there's a chain of narration. So that chain of narration is that, we say, for example, that the Prophet spoke to this person, spoke to this person, spoke to this person, and then we can have a chain of narration. But the thing is, John existed 95 years after Jesus. Yeah. So how? What makes us know that John met? He didn't meet. First of all, he didn't meet Jesus. So how? Who, who is narrating that information to John? So we say that there's a problem with with narration here. There's no precedent. There's no provenance. How do we know? Because because the the burden of proof is upon the one who's making the claim. So if you ask me. Like with the Quran, what's the chain of narration? I can give you 10 chains of narration, yeah? I can say this person told this person told this person told us. So the Quran's not changed. Yeah, yeah, we don't... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. we don't say there's any contradiction in the Quran. We would, we would challenge someone. Because the Quran, look, it says itself. If this God was from other than God, you would have found in it many contradictions. So this is one of the challenges of the Quran. The, by the way, the Bible doesn't make that challenge. The Quran makes this challenge. Yeah. yeah. The only problem is that Muhammad Hijab believes is that this Jesus that as you all believe is a good Messiah, a good prophet. Even that, the here you are, all of you, will not be able to believe even one word he said about himself. No, he but what I'm, what I'm saying to you, look. Yeah. I'm not denying everything in the New Testament. No, no, no. I'm, it's not. It's not black and white. In the sense that, look, historians when they look at st when they look at documents. They say this might have been attributed to him, this might not have been attributed to him. They look at the sources. So we know with the New Testament there's different sources, Q source, T source, whatever it is, and we look back. What's the proof of that? So so what's the proof that Matthew So what's the proof that Matthew, Mark, Luke and John met Jesus Christ? No no, that's, no, no, where's the material evidence for it? There is many evidence. Where, can, you, can you give me one? I can't give you exactly now. 
As Bible is my book, and I'm sure you'll agree with me as Quran is your book. Yeah. We believe everything in the Quran, I believe everything in the Bible. But the only my question is that I want my beautiful brother, sister, who are Muslim, to know this book is the truth. I want him, not only you guys, yeah. the whole world. Because Jesus is, you know, his life, his perfect life, yeah. he has never seen, he never even attempted, he attempted by the devil that he didn't win. He didn't lose, basically. We all know so that. My, my sister, my, my question to you is this. It's, you still you need to think about it critically, okay? It's not just, I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not saying nothing about the Bible. I'm just saying that, look, if you ask me for the material evidence, the yeah, material historical evidence of how we know the Quran goes back to, Muhammad goes back to the people that, it's, it's, like Muhammad said it through the angel Gabriel, right? I can give you a chain of narration. You know what? Yeah. The big problem is that even though the Quran is 99% true to everything from God, there's two topics, the most important topic in the Bible is the secret in the Quran. And that is really shocked my heart. I mean, these two, and then plus, there's a lot of story in the Bible, in the Quran, I saw about it. But before we, get, before we get there, you're, you're judging the Quran with the Bible. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, yeah, no, no, but what I'm trying to get to you is that the Bible itself is not verified. So it's, it's like if, if, I'm, if I'm measuring, you know, your height with a ruler that's bent, it wouldn't give you the right measurement. In, in likewise terms, I would say to you that the, the Bible, the Old Testament, and look, let me tell you something, okay? There's a whole field of study called text criticism, okay? What, what this field of study aims to do is to look at, to see what is most probably the Bible and what isn't. Look at the Old Testament. You look at, you got to have the Maserati text, you have the Septuagint, you have the Dead Sea Scrolls, and then you decide what goes in and what comes out. That's what bi scholars do, and that's why you have different versions of the Bible, okay? Because, and that's the Old Testament. The Septuagint, the Septuagint, so sorry sir, so the Septuagint is, is in Greek language, okay? It's not even in the Hebrew. Septuagint is Greek. They have to decide whether or not they want to put that into the Bible. You have to translate it first. So, but the thing is, the Septuagint, the Dead Sea Scrolls, and the Masoretic text, all of those three don't have a chain of narration back to Moses. And likewise, they don't have a chain of narration back to the, the prophets and all of the other people that's meant to be. Uh, what, what I'm saying to you, what I'm saying to you is because of this, we don't know what Moses actually said. It's possible. I'm not saying that the Bible is all wrong. I'm not saying this. Yeah, I'm not saying the Old Testament is all nonsense. I'm not saying that. And I'm not saying the New Testament is all that. What I'm saying is that as it stands, there's no way of finding out. I mean, let me ask you a question. Do you know there's 27 books of the New Testament, yeah? Why is there 27 and not 28 or 26? Do you know the reason? There was a man called Athanasius, who in the year 349, I believe, yeah? He came and decided that it's going to be 27. Now, is there, he, like, he, look, he decided up until the Revel book of Revelation, okay? My question now is why does he have the permission to decide how many books are in the New Testament? Why does he have that permission? You see, that, that, that's the problem. The, 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 the problem is there's nothing in the Bible that says, even ironically, that says that there's 27 books of the New Testament. Athanasius, there was not even a council, there was no council that decided what the New Testament would be. So for that reason, I say, look, what Jesus said is not equivalent to what the Bible says. Do you get the point? I don't know. Right. But what I know is that this, this follower of Jesus, they even sacrificed themselves because of, him, because of the message they were given. Some of them hanged, some of them killed. You know yeah. the story. Yeah. So how can anyone who's like, who's like seen Jesus have been with him? So yeah, we're, we're denying. We're, we're saying that Matthew, Mark, Luke and John did never see Jesus. They never see Jesus. They never see him. Oh, all this, this yeah. Really no one says... No, no, no. What I'm saying is, no one says that they saw him. All the scholars of Christ... No, no, no. Okay, example, yeah. Muhammad, if I said they didn't today, say that. If I said today, yeah. I came to this high park and I talked to Muhammad Ujjah. Yes. So if I want to tell this story, what happened today, the next 10 years, for okay. example. Yeah. So now, I could say, I talked to Muhammad Ujjah. I was, you know, I was asking him questions. He was explaining to me. Yeah. I can describe how You're he saying that you, they said... Yeah. Well, yes, yes. Honestly, no, no. Yeah. I could, so yeah. then, if I tell my yeah. story, no. if I tell my yeah. story, in ten years ago, yeah. and then someone will come to me, you're a liar. Let me tell you something, sister. You're right. How, how do you? How do you? Let me tell you. 
I'll tell you what I told you, yeah? When is John historically dated? The Gospel of John, when, when is it dated? No, I don't know about it's, that. I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Historians say 95 AD. That means 95 years after. Let me tell you what it's really like. Now, when was World War II? To be honest, it's, it's, okay, World War II started 1939 and it ended 1945. When was World War I? 1914 to 1918. So good 100 years ago, yeah? Now imagine me, I tell you a witness report of what happened in World War I. I tell you this is what happened. One, two, three, four, five. You're going to say, how old are you? I'm 28 years old. So how do you know what happened in World War I? Now, I could know what happened in World War I from talking to other people. But if I came 100 years after, there's no way I saw the people in World War I. That's the similitude of G John to Jesus. John, Gospel of John, is dated 95 AD, which means almost 100 years. It's like, you know World War I? Not even World War II, World War I. Yeah, that's when, that's the distance between Jesus and John. No, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, the Gospel writer. But even, even this name John, it's, it's just a pen name. It's not really what his name was. Most scholars say that that's not him. It's not someone who met Jesus. You have it misunderstood. No one says that these are the disciples of Jesus. The historians and text critics don't say that Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, the Christian ones, not the Muslim ones or the Jewish ones, the Christian ones themselves. They say that these people are not people that ate and slept and uh, or, or this and, uh, with Jesus Christ. Likewise, uh, on the other hand, we say that the Quran and the Hadith is narrated and preserved by those people who actually walked with the Prophet Muhammad, his, his friends. That's, so we have, uh, we have the list of names of his friends, so Prophet Muhammad's friends like Abu Bakr and Omar and Uthman and Ali, you know, and Zubair and this and that, and, all this, and his wives. And, yes, yes, exactly. So, so what we say is that the Quran was recorded by the Sahaba, the companions, whereas the Bible was not, com was not recorded by the disciples. It's, but where's the evidence for that? No, but no one says that though. Yeah. So, so then we can be Hindu, we can be Sikh, we can be Buddhist. That's why we do. Yeah. From Hindu, Sikh, me and you are different because we know there's a creator. We know that. Yeah, Sikhs believe in creator as well. There might be, but it doesn't matter. Even, even in within Christianity, some people might have different Jesus. They might say something different, but that does not matter. But for me, the Bible is the place for me. That's yeah, but your base, that's the problem. Uh, you said that there is evidence, but what I'm saying is that Christian scholars themselves, they deny this. Bruce Metzger, he wrote a book. He denies... I don't know the scholar. I follow the book. Fine, but you have to have evidence. If Look, let me tell you something, sister. Let me tell you something. What if I go to me and my friends in university, they decide to make a new version of the Bible. We we'll call it the new uh, 2020 version of the Bible. Like you have the new international version, this and that. We mix up the manuscripts and we say, hey, this is your base. What would you say to me? The story still stands. So by Jesus' story, why he came, what purpose it was. Uh, but, but no, no, but I understand this. Look, what we're, what we're saying is, how do you know? Yeah, but why? Look, what I'm saying is this: is that we have to have evidence that the source. We believe in that because of. Let me explain. Right. So what we say is this: we say that we have evidence that the first thing we need to have is evidence that. The book that we're holding in our hands that claims to be divine authority from God, yeah, is actually narrated by the one who claimed to be the prophet. That's, what, that's the problem with Muhammad Ijab. Muhammad is receiving all this from angel. And this angel, Gabriel, is a pure angel. He literally stands the right of the hand of God. So, even if you put in the spirit, that's fine. But this angel, I wouldn't say this angel is lying. Telling Muhammad different story and telling Mary different Exactly, story. exactly, exactly. That is really question for No, 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 no. Yeah, so, so here's what we would say, look. We would say that, you know, before, if you look at the Bible, you'll, you'll find contradictory verses in the sense that, look, you'll find that sometimes Jesus, he says, do not go in the way of the Gentiles, for I was only sent for the lost sheep of Israel, right? No, no, and then you have, no, no, you have other verses that, that yeah, but okay, so look, well, the reason why we say, what we, our narrative is this, we say that those who came before, Jesus, Moses, Abraham, etc., they came for their people and their time. So 
So, Mo so Jesus and Moses came for the lost sheep of Israel. Yeah? We say... Yeah, yeah, I understand. When they believe, baptize them and then teach them what I did to you. Yeah, yeah. So what would you say to that message? What I will say is this: is that that's why I was talking about the contradiction because you have some verses that indicate to the universality of the message. No, what, no, no. What I'm saying is, you have some verses in the in the New Testament that indicate to universality, and other verses which indicate to exclusivity to to children of Israel. But what we're saying, no, we can come to the Quran after. But the point, but the point I'm making is this: our narrative is, is that Jesus was sent to his people, Moses was sent to his people, Abraham was sent to his people. We say that Muhammad sallam, was sent to everybody. For everybody. For everybody. For everybody. Because, wow. because the Quran says, Uma illa We haven't sent you except for all of the human beings. Yeah, so this is what it says in the Quran. That's right. What about Jesus, so we say that Jesus was sent to the children of Israel. That's what Jesus says. According to the New Testament. Probably for that specific time, there is a reason maybe you say that, but that doesn't mean Jesus came to save only the Jews. I wouldn't be safe then, I'm a Gentile. No, exactly. Imagine. Look, look, look. Look, let me ask you a question. Mo Moses, when Moses was sent, who was he sent to? Moses was sent to Israel from Egypt. All right, so good. So he was sent to the people of Israel, right? Yeah, because they were a slave in Egypt. All right, so is there a problem of a prophet of God being sent to only one group of people? Yeah, no, but it's not just, he's not the only prophet, right? You have many prophets in the, in the Old Testament. But sister, are you, are you, the, the idea of God sending a messenger or a prophet to only some people and not others, this is something within, within the Old Testament that you must agree, if you... Yeah. I agree, but what I'm saying is Moses has been sent to Egypt specifically for those... Not just Moses, we have other prophets. Of course, all yeah. Like, uh, for example, Abraham, yeah, yeah. Even though Abraham is not mentioned as a prophet in the Old Testament, but yeah, I agree with you. He's not. Yeah, so, what I'm saying is but he's a patriarch and so. Abraham is the faith for us, even for us to be called the, the children of God is because of Abraham's faith. So anyone coming from Abraham is basically safe no, by faith. I, I get you, but, but what I'm saying to you is that the idea of a prophet coming to some people and not to other people is something acceptable, right? Because it's something which even the Old Testament says. So the Old Testament says that you can have some prophets that are sent for not all of the people, but some people, like David or Solomon. Or so. These are David was a prophet, Moses was a prophet. These are all prophets, right? So what we're saying is that Jesus fit the same category, yeah, as all of those prophets that came before. He was sent to some people. Do it, okay? Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. You believe that David was a prophet, yeah? It's in the. Yeah, he's also. He, he, yeah, I agree, but he's also a prophet in the Bible. Like no, no, but he's a prophet. He's a prophet according to... Yeah, yeah. So, okay, let's take, let's take him as an example. Moses is a prophet, right? But let's take David as an example. When David came, when he was preaching, or Solomon, when he was preaching, or when all of these people, do we have what they said, written, word for word? No, no, no. What, what I mean is, we have, we have some stories, but what they actually narrated, their books, their, their message... No, no, yeah, but not in its entirety. I understand that. Yeah, you have you have narrations. Yeah, yeah. Look, look, we believe. Of course, of, of course, we do. Okay, good. Okay, good. Now, here's my point: is so you believe in you believe in David and Solomon, yeah? And you, the, we good. And so we say that we believe in them as well. Yeah, they were sent to their people, right? So David, you could say David was he sent to the South African? Was he sent to the Aborigine? No, David was sent to his people. Do you get it? So he was sent to and Solomon was sent to his people. So we say that Jesus was also sent to his people. All right. Pardon? Now what I'm saying is that, that, that here's the issue: with those books that came before and those prophets. We don't know for sure exactly what they said. We can have an estimated guess. Like they all came and told the people that worship one God and X, Y, Z. But exactly what they have said has not been preserved fully. Yeah, yeah, I, I understand that. But, but nevertheless, if you look at the New Testament corpus, even then, when the Gentile woman came and she asked for the salvation, he said, I'm not, you know, the, 
ask for her daughter. Yeah, to, her. yeah, yeah. So, so, so he referred to Gentiles as co as the dogs, right? No, 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 he did. And he did, yeah. Like uh, should we get? Should we get the? I just want to have. I've never had a conversation with you for first time. So no, but we're having a conversation. Um, for example, that woman. Yes. I have to do this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so you know who I'm talking about, yeah? Oh, yeah. So well, she was a Gentile. Jesus said to her um, something about life, you know, and then because of her pen, even the dog eats after the table, whatever, like the over. So yeah. Jesus likes her But pen. sister, listen, what I'm saying is it's not difficult, yeah, to have an interpretation of the New Testament that makes Jesus only sent to the, the, um, the, 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 the do you know how we know that? Look at, the, look at James and, and Paul. When they were differing over how salvation will have an effect on people. Paul is, okay, he was of the view that the Gentiles can be saved. But James was about the observance of the law and so on. The point I'm making to you, the point I'm making to you is simple, yeah? The point I'm making to you is simple, is that you can interpret the Bible, the New Testament, as an exclusive message to the to the children of Israel for Jesus. You can interpret it, I'll give it to you. You can interpret it as a universalist message as well. I'm being open, yeah? But there, there are these contradictory verses. We, 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 can't, we can't lie about it. So on the one hand, you have this uh, Jesus saying, do not go in the way of the Gentiles, for I was only sent to the lost people of Israel. And then you have, you know, baptized in the way of the, uh, the you know, the, the, the Father, the Son, and, and the Holy Spirit. So these two don't, it's either one of those two, right? If you want to say I agree with the second one, oh no problem, I, I agree with you, no problem. But the, the issue is you can have two interpretations. Our interpretation is, our interpretation is something which is not ridiculous from your perspective, which is in line with the exclusive message of Jesus Christ, which is the fact that Jesus was sent for the lost sheep of Israel. Now, what we... Pardon? Yeah, for a purpose. He was sent to the lost sheep of Israel for a purpose. So, 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 so find, find the... No, 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 no. She doesn't. She doesn't. She doesn't need you, brother. She's no, very no, capable. No, no. She's very capable. No, 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 no. Please, there are a lot of things. Please, it's, it's, I don't like this three, three men. Uh, so, sorry, brother. There's three men like bullying her and you know trying to. I know. Just, just let her, let her talk. We can have a conversation with you afterwards, brother. We can, we can talk to you afterwards. But it's, it's only, it's only she wants to speak to me. She does. Do you want him to speak on your behalf? No, she wants to. Speak. She doesn't want you to speak on her behalf, my friend. But bro, she does not want you to speak on her behalf. You can speak to me afterwards, but she. Can, can you just, just let, let the sister finish what she's saying? Huh? So. Yeah, exactly. Because then there are a lot of aspects of your answers which are wrong. That's not Christianity. All right, so let the sister talk, please, brother. Brother, brother, I understand. Huh? I see. Look, you you put her off. You put her off. No, we don't want to do that. You know. Moment.